Hi friends. Okay, so we're doing Cycle Cybernetics, Maxwell Maltz, Chapter 8. Ingredients of the success type personality and how to acquire them. Okay, so number five is, self, is, is esteem. And just a quick recap of this chapter. So what he says is if you have clear, concise goals, affirmations, targets, something clear for your mind, your subconscious to work for, you're going to get, or to work towards, you're going to get better results. <clears throat> if you have unclear goals, you're going to get unclear results. So then what he says is here are seven successful type personality traits, and here is something for you to aim for, all of us to aim for. So number five on the list is esteem. And here we go. Of all the traps and pitfalls in life, self-disesteem is the deadliest and the hardest to overcome, for it is a pit designed and dug by our own hands, summed up in the phase, summed up in the phrase, it's no use, I can't do it. Okay, so that's the negative self-talk. And there's a bunch of books and um, I'm sure you could look this up, but there's a lot of information on how to talk to yourself and how to get a positive self-esteem and positive messages replaying over and over on loop in your brain as opposed to negative self-esteem. So go look that up. It's pretty cool and it's actually works. Okay, so we simply must get through our heads that holding a low opinion of ourselves is not a virtue but a vice. Jealousy, for example, which is a scourge in many marriages, is nearly always caused by self-doubt. The person with adequate self-esteem doesn't feel hostile towards others. He isn't out to prove anything. He can see facts more clearly, isn't as demanding in his claims on other people. So someone who is jealous, they're going to have, they usually have self-doubt. But someone who isn't out to, um, the person with an adequate self-esteem, okay, they don't feel hostile towards people. They're out, they're not out to prove anything. And he can see facts more clearly, and he isn't demanding in his claims on other people. Now, mind you, if you're jealous of somebody and they're dishonest, you need to end that relationship. And then you need to probably make sure that you're happy with yourself so that you don't end up finding that same person in a different person's body. Okay, uh, so here, so this one is actually pretty, pretty quick, basically self-esteem. So he's going to jump right into the prescription and the homework. So stop carrying around a mental picture of yourself as defeated, worthless person. Stop dramatizing yourself as an object of pity and injustice. Use the practice exercises in this book to build up an adequate self-image. The word esteem literally means to appreciate the, worthy, the worth of. Why do men stand in awe of the stars or the moon and in the immensity of the sea, the beauty of a flower or a sunset, and at the same time downgrade themselves? Did not the same creator make man? Is not man himself the most marvelous creation of all? This appreciation of your, okay, this is huge. This appreciation of your own worth is not egotism unless you assume that you made yourself and should take some of the credit. So he's saying you have a creator, you were created, and you were created beautifully. So start looking at yourself that way. Do not downgrade the product merely because you haven't used it correctly. Don't childish, childishly blame the product for your own errors like the schoolboy who said this typewriter can't spell. Okay, you are born beautifully. You have gifts. But the biggest secret of self-esteem is this. Begin to appreciate other people more. So this kind of goes ties back into the charity thing. But here he is. So, but the, big, um, the biggest secret of self-esteem is this. Begin to appreciate other people more. Show respect for any human being merely because he's a child of God and therefore the thing of value. Or therefore a thing of value. So stop and think when you're dealing with people. You're dealing with the unique individual creation of the creator of all. And here's a big thing right here. Practice treating other people as if they had some value and surprisingly enough your own self-esteem will go up. For self-esteem is not derived from the great things you've done, the things you own, the mark you've made, but an appreciation for yourself, for what you are, which is a child of God. When you come to this realization, however, you must necessarily conclude that all other people are, all, are also to be appreciated for the same reason. 
So you start appreciating, ah, excuse me, you start appreciating other people and realizing that everyone is valuable and your own self-worth, your self-esteem is going to improve also. And, um, and also go listen to those, you know, the self, how to talk to yourself, go look that up and it helps you put, it's awkward at first, but it helps you put a good voice in your head that replays over and over as opposed to something negative. So you don't want to do negative self-speech because you actually hear everything you think and you, everything you say. Okay, everybody have a great day and do something today that your future self will be thankful you did.